My name is Mitch McKay with Excalibur Crossbows, and here today with Hunter's Friend, just gonna go through a basic setup on a, on a brand new Excalibur crossbow. So today, we got our, our Excalibur Micro Suppressor, which is our flagship model for 2017. And uh, we're just gonna open up the box and get started. And, and what you have to do if you if you uh, wanted to get a crossbow and get going. So we've got our rail, our stock, got our front end. Um, so the first thing we'll do, probably the easiest thing to do is just assemble the crossbow, then we'll put the, the scope on and the accessories. My mounting bolt, my, my hex wrench, we're just gonna put the crossbow together, get it functional for the scope. So this just snaps on. There's two or male indentions here. They snap into these two holes here. So we'll pop that into that, get a nice firm seat, and then this hex bolt is just gonna go directly into that unit there. However, on this particular model, we need to install the quiver bracket. So we're gonna use a quiver bracket as our washer for the, the uh, front end. So let's get it started there. Just gonna tighten that down nice and snug. All the way down, make sure we got a nice firm seat. And that is the front end, so we want to make sure that it's tight. Don't, don't wimp out on this one. Give it a good, solid turn, snug. Okay, so with that, the crossbow is, is almost assembled. Um, this particular model comes with the air brakes, the red string dampeners, the string silencers, the limb dampener, and we've got a pair of X-Shocks here that are, are all, another dampening feature. But uh, as far as functionality, that, that crossbow is ready to shoot. We just need the scope. And the scope actually comes with the rings pre-mounted. So you shouldn't have too difficult a time putting that on. Just you want to check your eye relief. I just happen to know that I like a little more eye relief, so I'm, I usually go all three slots back from the front is where I normally line it up. Uh, but it's just a simple Weaver style base. Loosen it up. Loosen the clamp up. Make sure we get it seated properly. There we go. And it's just a matter of so here at this stage, if you wanted to check your eye relief and, and set it for you, um, I like to just kind of snug it up and then pick, you know, shoulder the, the crossbow and, and double check that you know I've got plenty of eye relief. I get a nice clear picture in the in the scope. But uh, that's pretty much it. So now we got to we just got to tighten these. If you have a gunsmithing kit, that works really well. Just tighten those up. Now, that's pretty much nice and snug. Flip the scope caps up, take a look. Okay, now this particular scope is a little off from the factory, so I need to, to level the, the reticle. So just, just like a firearm, you just loosen up the scope ring, spin it to where you're level, and you're good to go. Um, I need that wrench. Okay, so I'm just going to take a oh, full twist off each one of these so I can rotate the scope radical, get it properly leveled. And then one thing that I do on my personal bows is if you have a, a gun vise, you can set it in a gun vise, you can level the front end with just a, a standard level and then use your, your level on your, on your uh, turret cap there to actually get it perfect. But for the sake of this, we're just going to twist that just a little bit and get it nice close to level. That's, if I 
keep it centered right there, we'll be in good shape. When you tighten these, you just kind of want to tighten just like a scope. You hunt your rifle, just tighten, you know, half turns at a time or so. Don't bind it down. Kind of watch your gap. I just kind of go a, a turn, a half turn, back and forth until I get it clamped down without spinning the scope. that pretty close still I'm just gonna tighten those up and after that that's it that's that's pretty much we've got to put the quiver on put the field points into the, the bolts and you are ready to shoot now the way this quiver, this scope works is somebody probably needs to zoom in here so this this scope is set up on a speed ring so what we do the scope itself has a crosshair and then uh, reticle dots. If we use the speed dial, the speed dial dials the reticle dots, the calibration for them. So all we do is we're going to sight in the 20 yard crosshairs just like you would a rifle and then use your your speed dial and this is 300. I know for a fact this bow shoots about 355 so I'm going to start at three just a little past 355. That now I'm going to use that to fine tune my, my gap in my reticle dots. So you'll have a 20 yard crosshair, then a 30, 40, 50 yard dot. So we've got three pieces to our quiver bracket and our quiver. Um, so we're just going to mount the, the bracket to the bracket and then we'll mount the whole bracket to the bow. Uh, so we've got two little hex screws here with two acorn nuts that go on behind. So I'll just put those on, tighten these on like so. Get them snug and then I'll tighten them up with the hex wrench. Okay, now let's get handy dandy Leatherman. Just gonna hold that while I tighten that. Snug that one, flip it over, and we'll snug this one. Okay, now we're just going to mount this to the bracket on the bottom of our bow. And I'm a right handed shooter, so I want my arrows coming on my right side so I can load easier. So I'm going to mount it to that side. So flip it over, it's just simply going to slide on. You pick a tinny rail and you're just going to tighten that little set screw and you're good to go. Let's use that one. Lock it down. There you are. Now your quiver is just going to pop on here. pop it on here and then twist it and then this slides so now I'm ready for, for bolts we're ready to shoot I think outside of bolts we got bolts we put our field points on let's go shoot it okay so a couple things to note about Excalibur one we have what we call a guardian dry fire device so that little silver tooth in here that you can see if I push this that disengages that which is just kind of a neat neat feature so one, the device's sole purpose is to prevent you from dry firing a crossbow. So if I cock this back and I pull the trigger, the string is only going to travel from that one inch between here and that silver tooth. Now the other cool feature is by having a, a disengaging button, I can actually decock this crossbow without having to shoot it at the end of the day. Um, and a lot of guys say, well, you know, why do I want that? Well, my, my classic example is you're in a blind or in your tree stand. It gets dark on you but the deer is still there you don't want to shoot the crossbow and, and alert the game so you can actually decock this fairly quietly and uh, and it's less wear and tear on your bow every at the end of every hunt so we'll just go through a simple cock and decock now Excalibur one, one other note Excalibur uses a manual safety so 
you have to cock it in the fire position. So you're going to see that red button, that's fire, green is safe. So we're going to actually disengage the safety to cock it, then we're going to manually set it after we cock it. So here we go, we'll just take our simple rope cocker, it's got two hooks. The biggest thing here is, I like to go up, you can go down, either way, just don't alternate them. Either both are going to go up or both are going to go down. Um, so I just like to start here with the, the caulking groove on the back of the stock. Make sure you're in that groove. You're going to reach down, hook one side, and then we, we generally sit, send these a little shorter so it helps you caulk them. It gives you more leverage. So just pull up on the string and you're ready to caulk. So we're in the groove. We've got both hooks up. We're going to step firmly into the, stir, the foot stirrup. We're going to grab the handles and we're just going to pull back that's it now you're you're cocked engage your safety so everything's safe and now we're ready to shoot now if I were to want to decock at this point same exact process put your rope cocker on just like you would and then pull one side all pull, pull one all the way to up from one side so I'm in the I'm in the groove I've got my both hooks up, they could be down if I wanted to. Now I'm going to hold on to this, I'm going to disengage the safety, I'm going to take the safety off, I'm going to push the anti-dry fire lever in, and I'm going to fire the crossbow. You ready? Now, I'm, I'm decocked. We're going to cock her back. I'm in the fire position here. It has to be in fire for it to engage. If it's in safety, you can't cock it. So make sure you're looking at that red circle. Pull it back. You're cocked. Engage the safety. And we're ready to go. So take your bolt. Excalibur bolts are flat and back. You can use, um, you know, index bolts if you, if you want. But but we just use a simple flat back insert. So. Make sure your safety's on. Engage your bolt all the way back. Just want to make sure it comes all the way back to your trigger assembly. Now I'm ready to go. So take the safety off. Line her up. That's it. So, just as an exercise, this is not something that I would recommend, but we'll give you the worst case scenario. You're out in the woods, you forget to load the bolt, and you happen to dry fire it, okay? So, here we go. We're gonna dry fire it. The string's gonna go from here to that silver pin and stop. So, one, two, three. Okay, makes me nervous every time I do it. But now you can see your string, you didn't blow up your bow, your string is on your anti-dry fire device, but now what you have to do to get it back to normal is put your rope cocker on just like we did when we when we decocked it so put your rope cocker on make sure you're in the fire position pull up on it and cock it re-cock it so now I'm engaged my safety so now I'm completely safe and you're back to where you can load a bolt and shoot Well, that's, that's it in a nutshell. That's our micro suppressor uh, flagship for 2017. And you can see that's pretty easy. It takes a couple hex wrenches and about 20 minutes and you're, you're ready to hit the wood.